Hello everyone, this is CC's Art and Stuff, where I draw art and stuff. And here we have a painting that I try to do in the Arts Alternative sketchbook. And yeah, let me tell you about this painting. It's an adventure. It was an adventure. Um, I learned a lot of things. I met a lot of new people. <laughs> um... Things happen that we not speak of. <laughs> no, just kidding. But um, seriously, though, um, I made a lot of mistakes with this. But I did like the end result. So that's a win for Team CC. So yay. <laughs> First off, um, let me tell you. This painting. I first primed the paper. Because if you don't prime it, it's going to like bleed through all over the place. And it's going to be disgusting and gross. And so I primed the paper. And then after I primed it with primer, I um, put black acrylic with matte medium. Which was a very bad idea on my part. Because that made the paper extra glossy. Or it gave it a weird film on top. Where whenever I painted stuff. Unless I was using like full on paint, it 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 like it would wipe off. You saw in the beginning where I was like trying to put paint on this thing and, and did, nothing was working. So I had to like do like a sheer base. Originally that's usually how I do things. I just do a sheer base and then from the base I put and I start building paint um paint. But that, things didn't work out that way. <laughs> Also, I didn't isolate the shapes of this figure, so I ended up doing some weird mashup where it took me five hours to paint this entire thing. And it, it I mean, it didn't turn out bad, but it could have been a lot better. <laughs> and it wouldn't have taken me five freaking hours. <laughs> but yeah, like, I tried to do this thing with the highlight. Like, I don't know where I got. I got this idea from watching too many YouTube guru beauty people. <laughs> and, and you know how you um, put concealer on to hide your imperfections and all that junk. You put it under your eyes and whatever and all that full glam poop. And I don't know why I thought that was a good idea to actually do it in a painting. <laughs> but it didn't work out because I'm an idiot. And that's what happens when you watch too many things and you let it influence your work in real life. <laughs> but anyway, um, it didn't turn out too bad. I mean, it, originally I did it so that I know where, where the light would hit. But I don't think it helped my situation because this painting's all over the place. <laughs> paint wasn't sticking a lot of things weren't working and um i was just experimenting with color i did not know what i was doing i didn't know where i was i was lost <laughs> and um yeah a lot of a lot of it was a real eye-opener for me one because i never First off, I used gouache and I mixed it with acrylic because I didn't have enough gouache to freaking paint this with. Not that I didn't have enough. I didn't have certain colors that I needed in order to finish this painting. Like, you know, the color white. I mean, I could have used like a yellow, but it would have gave everything a yellow tint. Which actually wouldn't have been bad, now that I think about it. But you do need to lighten things up a bit. You need more white than you need black. You don't need black, usually. I mean, you could make your own really dark color by mixing all the colors together and making brown and then just adding more blue to it. And it's just keep doing that back and forth. You get a weird purple brown poop color and you just usually use that as a dark color. But um, I was trying not to use black because usually when you use just black while you do um, shadows, it makes everything muddy. And in, uh, what I was trying to do is I was trying to give her more um, depth to her. More, you know, whatever. So I, I used a lot of blue 
I didn't have the right blue, so a lot of her is purple. <laughs> and it's like a violet purple, I guess. I don't even know. And people be like, oh, violet. Oh, look at this one. It's, it, it, I have three different purples on this lady. So, <laughs> like I said, this this was pretty much... I got this picture from Tumblr. Um, yeah. So, a lot of her hair had a flower in it, and... I added more flowers just to make, and I changed the sh shape of the head completely, so so I can make it my own thing. But yeah, there's not much I could do. It was mainly for practice, hence why I just took a random picture online and just painted what I saw, more or less. Not completely because I'm not good at that, <laughs> but <laughs> more or less, I I figured, oh, this looks nice. I should paint something similar. So that's usually what I do. Of course, a lot of those paintings I can't sell or do anything with because they're based off of a photograph. And if the photographer at some point be like, hey, that's my that's my picture. And then I get into s copyright problems. And uh, so I'm just using it as practice. OK, <laughs> so I don't want no photographers to be like, hey, that's my paint. That's my picture. And I'm like, oh. Uh, I have to fight everybody. Now we'll fight. I'm bored enough as it is. <laughs> I'm drawing 600 paintings. No, no. I'm drawing 300 paintings on this extremely large sketchbook, which I'm regretting getting because it's so heavy. And when I move, it's going to be such a mess. <laughs> anyway, this was the part that I liked the most, how I did the hair. Um, I... I, I like how it came out, the hair. That's that's one of the parts that I really like about this painting is the hair. The hair came out very, very textured and very flowy, I guess, and, and texture. <laughs> and I really like how it turned out. I was just kind of messing around with color, seeing what worked, what didn't. I didn't want to make her a little too monochrome and just have browns and purples and all that fun stuff but it worked out considering like what I did with the flowers on her hair so what didn't end up working out is that ear that ear for some reason at some point went I don't know it, it was trying to walk away from her face <laughs> so <laughs> you're gonna see what I end up doing that at that ear and this is me attempting to paint flowers. I don't know how to paint flowers, guys. It's it's a sad day. I do not know how to paint flowers. Um, I was never taught how to play. <laughs> That's not true. Well, actually, it is. I was never taught how to do anything, to be honest. But <laughs> I was instructed and lightly pushed to do certain things. But I was never like, you should do this and you should do that. Because I had natural ability, according to a lot of people. So I don't know if I was worthy of being instructed. I know all these people are like, oh, I was formally taught how to blah, blah, blah. Nah, nah. Just do it. <laughs> Just put paper, put paint on the paper and make something. Like, there's nothing. <sighs> formally taught, whatever. <laughs> My daddy taught me everything. No, he, he he literally just gave me a couple paints and it was like, yeah, go go crazy. And I'm like, all right. And I'm like, crazy. And he's like, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been that like that until, you know, he passed away. So he's just calling my, my paintings nice from a different place. If you believe in that sort of thing. <laughs> but yeah, look at them flowers, y'all. <laughs> Got a little too real there. Sorry. My bad. That's another video altogether. <laughs> no. Um, I didn't know what I was doing here. I was just making it up as I went. Um, I don't they were supposed to be white roses and they turn out to be yellow, whatever the heck they are. I don't know what they are. They're 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 those these look like the kind of flower you see at a <laughs> at an art festival. That, like, ladies make so that they, you know, whatever. They don't particularly look like any flower, but they look like a flower. So, <laughs> and this is me giving up on said 
making it look like a flower because it's like, oh, just make a bunch of squiggly lines and then just paint on top of it and whatever. I was so over it <laughs> by this point. I was so over these flowers. <laughs> i like, I don't want to paint these flowers anymore. I don't know if it shows. I mean, they don't look bad, but they could have been better. Could have. Are they? That is for you to decide. Vote down below. No. <laughs> These flowers are, are, are just alien flowers. She's an alien lady. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just freaking ragging on these flowers. I'm gonna work on my flowers, okay? I'm gonna work on painting flowers and buildings and all this other stuff. I had to do this because paint wasn't sticking to the paper because of the whole black matte medium situation I was I had dealing with this thing. So I had to like glob a lot of paint and then from there mix it and try to like blend everything together so that it looks like a flower instead of like, you know, art festival flower, <laughs> craft store flower, you know kind of flower you see at like freaking I don't know barn sales or whatever the heck I don't know I've only been to like a couple so I wouldn't know you put them on your hair you put a clip on you look cute whatever <laughs> uh, but yeah they're, they're not supposed to be yellow why are they yellow can someone answer that question for me why are these flowers yellow <laughs> Why? Anyway, this is my attempt to salvage that situation. But I think I just made a whole big mess. These, these, the ones on her hair actually look like I made some effort, even though they don't look like flowers. But uh, they look like I, I did, I, I put some effort into the ones at the, the ones on the bottom. I did not care for. They are not my friends. We do not speak to each other. We don't follow each other on social media. <laughs> Those flowers are blocked, okay? <laughs> they are irrelevant. <laughs> I like the lips, too. Lips came out nice. I usually I usually don't. I don't know how to draw lips, either. I don't know how to draw. That's it. Why are you watching this channel? Go home. <laughs> That's not true. I can draw. This is not proof of that. Okay, maybe. But, look, um... Yeah. <laughs> the lips came out nice. I like how the lips came out. They actually look like lips. As opposed to what I usually do is, you know, look like not lips. They look like other things. <laughs> other things. Uh, yeah. This, I think the eyes are a little off, but at this point, it's done. That's it. Doesn't matter. She's not supposed to be hyper realistic she was not supposed to be a carbon copy of the reference photo i made so that's why she's a lot she a lot, my style overall is very stylized so a lot of my paintings aren't hyper realistic i can't do hyper realism a lot of people think i can i don't know why i don't know what impression i gave <laughs> for people to think that's a thing with me <laughs> but no i don't do hyper realism my surrealism and um, occasional stuff. So, <laughs> hence the name of this channel. No. <laughs> but yeah, this is me attempting to salvage whatever this this whole mess in the corner is. <laughs> I don't like the flowers. Can you tell? <laughs> and I realized that the ear was you know, messed up, so... Bah. I covered that up immediately. Now the eyebrow situation, however, is another mess in itself. Like, look at them eyebrows. Them eyebrows are not cute. They ain't Instagram eyebrows. <laughs> I should have looked up, like, tutorials on how to, like, do your eyebrows, and maybe I would have been able to draw this lady's eyebrows correctly. I apologize, painting lady. I apologize for those awful, awful things on your brows. I, I, I'm sorry. I will be sending my condolences to you. <laughs> She's not real. <laughs> ah. 
She is not real. But maybe that's a good thing because her jaw's all messed up, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's really all I have to say about this painting. Um, flowers look weird, and that's about it. Everything else I like. It, it was a good practice. I, I needed to do more people. I don't... I do do a lot of people, but I do a lot of anime type people. <laughs> anime type people. <laughs> Is that even a thing? Anyway. Um, I hope you enjoyed this painting. I went through an adventure making this painting for y'all. So I hope you at least watch it up until this point. And I don't think anyone's watching it at this point. So I could just say whatever I want. <laughs> That's not true. Anyway, <laughs> thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all soon. Until the next time, bye-bye, guys, and good luck for me, because I have to do this again. <laughs>